Hi everyone, I want to talk about uh, the Nimichek protocol in regards to uh, either an ischemic stroke or a thrombotic stroke, that means from a clot, and how this all kind of works and, and what we're dealing with here. So first it's important to know that when you have a stroke and a little area of the brain dies and they'll have your CAT scan or your MRI and they say, see this area here, you've got that there and that's in the area and that's why say your arm doesn't work right or that's why you're having trouble speaking and they can tell by the area on the, on the CAT scan you know, where the deficit should be as they talk about. So you have that. But then you have this other thing that happens. When you have a stroke, there is a secondary concussion-like effect from inflammation that goes through the whole brain. So it's kind of like, I got a stroke, and then somebody knocked me unconscious. Okay? And you get a concussion throughout the whole brain. And these are the other effects, because it's very common when people have strokes and say they can't talk quite right or use their arm. Usually that's a, like a pair that come together. They'll also be kind of confused. Their memory will be off. They'll be lightheaded. Their balance is off. Um, just personalities different. They might be depressed. And they say, well, that just happens with a stroke. Well, it doesn't happen from that one little spot that made the speech and the arm not work right, okay? It's from this secondary inflammatory concussion that happens throughout the brain. And, you know, you gotta deal with all of this. And so one, uh, the Nimchak protocol and its ability to reverse autonomic damage, autonomic nervous system damage, is very good at reversing damage from any part of the brain from this concussion-like effect, okay? And because um, concussions are well known to cause depression, for instance, and it's, you know, our protocol's very, very good at fixing that. And actually, I actually just misstated. Our protocol is very good at lowering inflammation so much that your natural ability that your brain has is able to fix it, okay? So one, right off the bat, our protocol with the high DHA fish oil, olive oil, balancing the gut with rifaximin, and especially if you're in the age range for strokes, people need, you know, a uh, good two hours a day of, of uh, vagus nerve stimulation. You can have like tremendous improvements, okay? Now I'm not promising people you're gonna like totally recover. So if you have like a flaccid, you know, arm and leg in the stroke. I'm not promising you uh, it's all gonna come back. I'm promising you the secondary concussion effects will go away and I'm promising you it is very likely you're gonna get a lot more recovery from your physical therapy than you would otherwise, okay? And this is based upon, we've had many patients come, they had a straight stroke one or several years ago and they have the direct stroke effect, like the weak arm and leg, but they have these secondary effects. The secondary concussion-like effects go away, and we almost always get a rather significant continued improvement in that weak limb or the speech or whatever it is that was affected by that spot they pointed out on the on the uh, your MRI scan. So remember. The problem is these neurologists, I'm not really blaming them, but the system has been training them for decades that the brain can't recover. But we now know in the last decade, the brain makes a ton of stem cells. The brain has a whole bunch of white blood cells called microglia that can help you repair. The brain makes these chemicals called neurotropins that help you repair. And in major regions of the brain, they're discovering now that you're replacing 90% of your neurons with brand new ones every three weeks. Okay, the brain is the most capable organ of recovery if you can get rid of the inflammation because the inflammation prevents all these things from not working right. Okay, so that's how this works for problems up here. And also after they go in and do a little elective surgery, say they have to get a little blood out or something like that, anytime they open the cranium, 
you get the same inflammatory concussion in the brain and the protocol will help for little secondary effects from that. So hope you find that helpful. Everybody take care.